guys, so here we'll talk about one of my favorite types of reactions. These are called titrations. You'll need your notes, your calculator, and table T. So we're going to go through what the purpose of a titration is, the setup and equipment, and some sample data. So a titration is just trying to figure out what the molarity is of an acid or a base. So pretty much you're given the concentration of an acid or a base, and you have to figure out what the other one is. And we'll also use an indicator to um, figure this out as well, and a pH, um, a pH meter. So here's the setup. You have inside of the burette, and remember, again, this is a burette. Um, you have it attached to a burette clamp here and a ring stand. So inside of this burette is going to be sodium hydroxide. So you have Na ions and OH ions in there. And again, it can be any base. So in this case, I just put sodium hydroxide. In the beaker down at the bottom, we have an acid. So this actually ends up being hydrochloric acid. In this beaker, we have H plus and Cl minus. We also have it hooked up to a probe. We're able to use vernier probes um, in our classroom, and I'll teach you guys how to use them. But pretty much, they will help you figure out what the pH is when you're um, adding in more of the base. So here, we have hydrochloric acid. It should be a low pH. It should be something below 7. And then as we add more sodium hydroxide in, the pH will increase. So it'll go up towards 7 and then eventually past 7 once we um, go beyond neutralization. Right. So again, to show you, I have uh, my base in my burette. So my base is in the burette and H plus ions inside of my flask in this case. So as I'm going through and adding more base in, you'll notice that these H plus or these H plus ions will actually um, combine with the OH minus ions and form water. So at the end, you want to form some neutral compound, in this case, water. In this case, we have the equivalence point where all of these ions are going to be, oops, excuse me, all of these compounds are going to be water. So it's going to be water in that um, flask at the end once you've added in enough OH minus. And you'll notice here that we're actually using an indicator. In this case, this probably was phenolphthalein, so our neutralization point was um, closer to 8 to 9 range. So again, this the equipment. You'll need a burette on a ring stand. So that burette is um, right here, this long tube right there. It's attached to a burette clamp. And again, this is the ring stand. You'll find the ring stands in your little cubbies. Down here, you'll put um, your acid in an Erlenmeyer flask or beaker. We're most likely going to be using a beaker because we'll actually be using a pH indicator, or excuse me, a pH probe and putting that right in. And again, we'll also be using a pH indicator so you can also see a color change um, as well as the pH change from the meter. So here's some sample data. And this is hopefully what your graphs will eventually look like. You want to see the amount of base added. So, for example, sodium hydroxide in here. Um, and that's in milliliters. And then the pH is on the y-axis. So as you're starting out, you're um, in the acidic range. And then you eventually become or increase the pH. And then you get to this point right here where it ends up being neutral. In this case, the neutral point is just the um, moles of the acid equal to the moles of the base. So this actually ends up being between 8 and 9. You know that a neutral um, compound is a pH of 7. But again, this you probably end up having like a strong base and a weak acid. Um, and that would end up increasing that neutral point. Eventually, you get to a higher pH, and then it levels off right up here. So this center area is really what you're looking for. You want to be able to figure out, or you want to be able to have that vertical line, or somewhat close to vertical line, and the half that distance from that, this point to this point will give you that neutral point. The neutral point in this case, or neutral pH, was probably about an 8.5 for this compound. Alright, so pretty much what all this means is these basic simple calculations. You will love these calculations, by the way. They're so easy. So here we have um, table T. We have titration calculations. You've seen something like this before when we've dealt with um, dilution of solutions. So here we have cap, um, capital M, so that's the molarity. Capital V is the volume. And then you have A, which is the acid, or your H plus concentration and B, which is your base, or your OH minus concentration.
So, here we're given, we're said, what volume of 0 0.120 molar HNO3 uh, solution is needed to completely neutralize 150 mils of 0 0.100 molar NaOH? So let's figure out what we have or what information we have. We want to figure out the volume, so because it says what volume. That's our unknown. So the volume of, in this case, HNO3 is your acid. So this is your unknown. You know the molarity of your acid. So the molarity of the acid is 0 0.120 molar. We have here 150.0 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar NaOH. So this is your base. So you have your volume of your base is 150 milliliters. And the concentration of your base is zero, or excuse me, your molarity or your concentration of your base is 0 0.100 molar. Since you know that the volume here is in milliliters, we'll make the volume of our acid or unknown in milliliters as well. So we'll put it, um, create our, equa our equation, excuse me, MA times VA is equal to MB times VB. VA is our unknown, so we're going to be able to isolate the equation. So we have VA is equal to MB times VB over MA. Let's plug in these values. Your molarity of your base is the first thing here. Oops, well, this is supposed to be molarity of the base. Is 0 0.100. Your volume of your base is 150 milliliters. And that's all divided by the molarity of the acid, which is 0 0.120 molar. Plug this into your calculator, and I'm running out of room here, so I'll put it down here. What I end up getting for my answer, and if you get something different, just let me know, your volume of your acid is equal to 125 milliliters. Let's make sure we have proper sig figs. This has three, this has four, this has three. So yep, your final answer should be in three sig figs. There you go, make sure you put a box around your final answer too. All right, let's go to your next one. A 25 mil sample of HNO3 is neutralized by 32.1 milliliters of 0 0.15 molar KOH. What's the molarity of the HNO3? So let's plug in all of our values, or excuse me, let's find out what all of our values are. So you have milliliters here, you know that's going to be volume, and it's of HNO3, this is an acid, so that's the volume of the acid. It's neutralized by 32.1 milliliters of 0 0.150 molar KOH, so this is your base. So you have your volume of the base and molarity of the base here. You're trying to figure out what the molarity of your acid is. So let's put in all their values. We have MA, your molarity of the acid is your unknown. You know it's going to be, it's, excuse me. In concentration, it is concentration, so it's going to be capital M. Your volume of your acid is 25.0 milliliters. Your concentration of your base, it said, was 0 0.150 molar. And your volume of your base, they said, was 32.1 milliliters. So let's go ahead and create our formula. So we have MA, VA is equal to MB, VB. Our unknown is our molarity of the acid, so let's isolate that. We have MA is equal to MB times VB over VA. The molarity of the base, and let's plug in their value, 0 0.150. The volume of your base is 32.1 milliliters, and over VA, your VA is 25.0 milliliters. So let's plug in all these values and figure out how many sig figs we need. So you'll punch this into your calculator. You should have um, a number in there. So we have three sig figs here, three sig figs here, and three. So our final answer should be in three sig figs. So let's see, the molarity of the acid and again, I'm putting it over here because I can't squeeze it in any lower, is 0 0.1193. Good, so we'll put 
zero. Make sure that leading zero is in the front, otherwise it's wrong. I won't be able to see that dot, so make sure that, again, that zero here is in the front. And we have um, 0.193, and the, con the unit is in molarity. So there you go. All right, go ahead and give this one a shot. All right, so for this one, I'm just going to give you the answer. If you don't get it correct, please, please, please let me know during class. But our answer ended up being, uh, let's see, 0 0.20, um, and then we wanted concentrations of molarity. If you don't end up getting this answer, please let me know in class. Um, most likely, just double check that you put your acid and your bases in the right spot. So all this information is for your acid. This information is for your base, and you want to figure out what your base is. All right, so to summarize, your titration is used to determine the concentration of an acid or a base, and you eventually neutralize it, meaning that you have your moles of your acids equal to your moles of the base eventually, and you use MAVA times or is equal to MBVB to solve this. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Take care and have a good day.